I'm gonna figure out if this three-year-old boa is a male or a female. Let's see how much he weighs and what he measures at. You ever wonder how much a cow and a snake weigh at the same time? Ooh. Nice view. Got it. I'll keep reaching for it. <laughs> what are you doing? Chill! Welcome back to Talking Serpents. Today we're going to do an update on my three year old. Boa Constrictor Theros. First things first, we're not sure if he is a she. So, we're gonna start this video off with something I've never done. I've done lots of research. I watched lots of how-to videos. It was pretty unanimous on how to do this. Get a set of nice probes that are stainless steel, different sizes. You need uh, to thoroughly clean them, make sure there's no bacteria or anything on them. Um, use a lubricant. And uh, I'm not gonna teach anybody how to do this because this is my first time and I don't wanna be the blind leading the blind. This could either be easy or this could be a fail. So hopefully uh, it's easy. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this. This is the probe size we're gonna use. It's not focusing, but it doesn't matter. We're going to use that probe, so we're going to come back after we get that all cleaned, and then we're going to try this for the first time. We're going to figure out if this three-year-old boa is a male or a female. Right. Take Sleeping Beauty out. It's the middle of the day, so he is uh, having himself a little snooze. The snake snooze. because we have a no reticulated python my female yellow anaconda and she'll definitely get pretty pretty big as well so that's that's good for me I didn't really want an enormous boa although I mean I do but I don't want to build like 
Alright, you did cage for him. Alright, so I put this is actually my third update video for this boa. The first two videos we were overfeeding him, but I we really didn't know. And I did get some people who messaged me like over a year and a half or so ago about him saying that I was overfeeding him and then they sent us a bunch of uh, information and if you're watching I really appreciate you, I really do. Since then he eats once a month and his growth rate has uh, slowed down immensely. I hate to throw my wife under the bus but this, we bought this snake originally for her, this is going to be something that she was normally going to be taking care of. And she didn't um, do as much research as she should have. And I took her word for it. And it was wrong. Your boa constrictors have different metabolic rates. All snakes have different metabolic rates. What I mean is their metabolisms are much slower. The snake doesn't move around a whole lot. It digests things much slower than, let's say, a colubrid. This snake right here would eat every single week, and every time you would feed it, it looks like it hasn't eaten in a year. It's Their metabolic rate is much, much higher. My retic, as it's an adult, metabolic rate is much lower. It all depends on the species. Yeah, I could put my feeding schedule up to him, like, it wasn't that much, but we were definitely feeding him um, too much at one time. And I wish I could take it back, but I can't. Um, everything on him seems to be healthy. We're just uh, trying to grow him up very slowly right now. Do what's best for the animal. And unfortunately, I, I didn't know. I love you too. It's like, I love you too, tree. You're a tree. <laughs> So, yeah, unfortunately that happened, but I can't take it back. All I can do is learn. So, I hope at least I can teach you. Unless you probably already know, and you're like, that guy's an idiot! I'm just gonna have to suck it up and be like, yep. But yeah, always do your research, and if you think you know enough, you probably don't know enough, and you probably should do it some more. Like, that's why, like, I want a speckled rattlesnake, and I've wanted one for quite a long time, and very soon here I'm going to have an extra enclosure to put it in, but I'm not ready. I don't know everything that that animal needs, and then some. I'm just not ready. So when the time is right, which could be soon once I put my time into it, then yes, I will then get that animal so I can care for it properly. Let's see how much he weighs and what he measures at. I remember we measured him, uh, maybe a couple weeks, no, a couple months ago, and he was, I think he was close to seven feet long. So, let's wait and measure him. Oh, you're whispering in my ear? That's nice. He's telling me a story. You ever wonder how much a cow and a snake weigh at the same time? Ooh. I get on the scale and see how much they weigh together. One nineteen. Okay. He weighs thirteen point two pounds. That's not too bad. Hi. How's the tree? These snakes are supposed to be strong and fairly lean. So this is what it looks like on the top view to show how, how he is now. And you want them to have a very nice shape, almost like, like an oval, like the top is rounded, the bottom's kind of flat. And then the sides of the body on a boa constrictor are just kind of like flat. Yeah, you can go up, feel him as he goes down. 
You don't want to feel anything that's like real squishy because there's a lot of obese animals out there. I, you, I especially see it with reticulated pythons and uh, Burmese pythons. Everyone's like, oh, they'll grow like 12 feet in a year. Be like, just because it can doesn't mean it should, you know? Try not to do that to your animal. Oh. This, come on, this is what we have to deal with. This is his strength. Once again, he's tail dominant. I love this scale so much. You can't have it. You ever wondered why they call them red tail boas? Well, this isn't a very good uh, example because this is a, a morph, but a true red tail boa has a very Oh, more like a maroon red and other variation colors, but the tail is usually red. That makes sense, right? So I'm not sure if I said it, but I'm sure I've said it many other times. This is an albino sun glow boa. This was Stephanie's absolute favorite boa morph. I definitely love it too. Uh, we got him as a little baby. He used to fit in the palm of our hand. Um, he has never once bit either of us, never struck at us, nothing. He's always been super, super calm. So now we'll take our handy dandy rope and uh, we'll lasso you. Okay, we'll lasso you. We'll measure you. Yeah, he's not having it. He's like, uh. He doesn't like to stay straight. That's the problem. Okay, there you go. And that's how long he is. I'll grab my tape measure. So you said slipped a few times, so this is going to be an end of answer? It might be a little longer than he actually is, but not by too much. But I may have corrected it. It's what is six it? feet exactly. Then how did we get six nine last time? Did we add an extra foot last time? Wait. So if we measured him wrong last time, that might be why we were definitely sure that it was a female. Because I was like, seven feet! And I was like, that's indefinitely a female, especially at this age. Alright, so we're gonna measure twice, just for extra assurance. We definitely want to know if he's exactly six feet. <laughs> This time he is six feet six inches exactly. So you think you did better this time? I think it was perfect this time. Okay, so he is six and a half feet. Alright, so I'm pretty happy because I wanted a male bow constrictor. And I didn't want anything that was going to be too large because I always try to accommodate for how much uh, enclosure space I have for each particular animal. And I don't want to have the snake getting any bigger because then I need to big it, build it a bigger enclosure, which I can do, obviously. But uh, I certainly didn't accommodate for that. So I'm excited that I don't have to build something much larger than I even anticipated. I'm already, if you watch my past videos, you know that I'm going to make this whole area, which this black enclosure here will eventually disappear. Um, I used to have, this is actually an entertainment system I had in my old house, and uh, I had my flat screen TV on the wall where this little space was at, and uh, so I had the idea of, Theros is usually in this enclosure right here, which is a 4x2x2, and I want him in this whole area right here, which is, uh five and a half feet wide, two feet deep, and like 
three feet tall. So he'll gain quite a bit of space and I went to a reptile expo uh, maybe less than a month ago and I bought a bunch of branches so he'll be able to go and bask and climb. Uh, there's all these diagonal branches that'll be coming down. So it'll be a way cool setup. You come in here, like walk in the room, bam, it'll be a focal point right at the top center of this beautiful enclosure with all this green foliage. It should be rad. So now that I know for sure that I'm not going to have to build an even bigger enclosure, I'll be able to build that properly sized enclosure for this male bow constrictor. And I'm excited. I'm very excited. All right. So we recently just took out Slipknot, my reticulated python, outside on the backyard uh, over the weekend. That was the first time I did some research, asked some people who definitely knew, who took their snakes out on the lawn. We don't use fertilizer, we mow our own lawn, so we know everything that's done to it. And uh, apparently it's, what did you say it was, 78, 75? 74, 75. Okay. So we're gonna go see if it's uh, warm enough to take the bow out for the first time. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's definitely warm enough. We got a slight breeze today. Nice and green. Mm-hmm. It's bright. It's in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's green back here. Alright, let's uh let's put it down. Dipping into the grass the first time. No? Not into it? He likes the concrete more. So he's decided to plunge on into the grass. It looks like he's having a good time. Let's bring him to the middle of the grass. Barely even touch the surface of this big backyard. Let's see if we put him like right there. To the middle. Here seems good. <laughs> Burrows underneath his own body. Definitely a new experience for him. Seems like he's enjoying it. Lots of places to explore. I mean, lots of places, so you better get moving. yard out. <laughs> he never does this and he's outside he's sniffing the air. Checking out everything. Seems calm. So I think he's happy. Alright, say bye Theros. Alright, if you like the video, strike the like button, if you have any comments, post in the comment section below, and uh, please do subscribe! Have a nice day. See you next time.